Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading. Today I'm reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. And this reading here now is for Gemini. Welcome Gemini. I'm using two tarot decks. The reading starts with the moon and stars. Tarot card out for you came four of pentacles. And the four of pentacles is about order security and conservatism and the meaning is control you are in control as you conserve money and you are wise with your expenses things come into balance as debts are paid and money flows finances are stashed away to an excessive extent in some so remember to save for the future but still live joyfully within the present prioritizing yourself and your happiness is more important than your status as the value of money which is not an indicator of your self-worth you are very independent at the moment and emotionally unavailable. So keeping things close to your chest. But also you need to allow the loved ones to be close to you. The star message is greater times are coming. And the tarot of the divine card that came out for you is the king of cups. And the king of cups of this deck is about a Chinese legend called the boy and the dragon pearl. The king of cups was once a little boy but has matured into a powerful dragon. He is kind but fiercely protective of those he loves. He is connected to the deep dark waters of the subconscious and he possesses great patience and great wisdom. The card is about devotion, loyalty, Peacefulness, wisdom, and generosity. Next card is the Quantum Oracle card. Out for you came Joyous Fun. And the card Joyous Fun relates to happiness every day. An excited family gets ready to enter a light filled amusement park signaling the increase of joyous energy in their life. It could be as simple as a happy vacation coming up or it could herald a new relationship bringing more fun and excitement into your life. Perhaps a light-hearted friendship will usher in some more social activities. You may be engaging in interesting resolved pursuits and you bring an increased sense of happiness which will bring an increased sense of happiness into your daily life. I read it again. You may be engaging in interesting pursuits that bring an increased sense of happiness into your daily life. When you choose to have some fun, your bliss will expand. Getting into something that you enjoy will open up your heart to all the other joys that are already in your life. So join that dance group, that chorus or that tennis league or whatever fun thing you have been thinking about. Choose to increase the happiness in your environment 
and in your attitude. After all, each day is yours to create. Find and embrace the joy that's available now and wonderful new adventures are sure to come your way. Say this affirmation, every moment of my life is special. Joyous appreciation is my constant choice. I let my spirit sing. And the card beyond Lemuria that came out is Heart Chakra, Unfurling Back to Love. This chakra card represents love in its many forms. It reminds you that everything in life can unfold into love or into fear. When unfurled back enough, The foundation of all you seek lies in the universal desire and the right to feel love and to be love. Love heals and is a force that can change the world. So have compassion and expand your awareness and heart-centered radiance for all beings on the planet. Encapsulate the earth in your loving compassion. Bask in the blissful feeling of the planet in all of its perfect balance, loving you back. Next is the Shamanen Oracle deck. It is in German and relates to Mesoamerican societies like the Maya the Aztecs and the Incas and the card that came out for you is the temple and the temple is number four and is a moon card relating to sanctuary. The temple signifies your true self and the number four relates to completion. The completion is a spiritual goal leading to your inner temple. The inner temple carries energy and strength, which is not a myth, but a reality. All your strength and vitality is in your inner temple. Found here is all you need to get through life. Your spiritual master is that inner temple, holding a secret wisdom which over a lifetime of living might get lost somewhere or might be covered up by daily life and by busyness of living. But this secret wisdom housed inside your inner temple is always there and you can be regained at any time. That is the good news for everyone, inviting us to drive deep inside into this temple to gain or regain this needed wisdom. Do your very best in everything you do is the advice. Give things your full attention, things that happen right in front of you, as well as things which take place away from your immediate surroundings. Be aware of different energies which can impact your life. But this card signifies something more, namely a holy location and what you are looking for is very near. There is a power, a non-personal presence which is unnameable and unspeakable so pay attention to that cosmic image something you are searching for and maybe it is nearer than you might expect could it be you are asked that you carry it around with you deep down in your inner temple then all you need to do is to give birth 
to your secret wisdom. And the last card is from the Keepers of the Light Oracle deck. And out came Lady Portia. Lady Portia is about divine order and says, do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. This powerful goddess is a figure of justice and peace. She brings order and opportunity to every experience. As a lord of karma, she also regulates the law of cause and effect. And so she helps us recognize the impact of our judgments, choices and actions on ourselves as well as the world. She is the twin flame of Saint Germain, so is strongly connected to the violet flame energy. Together, these twin flames can work as overseers of legal situations. Justice is an energy that's about honoring everyone involved rather than punishing bad behavior. Lady Portia helps us to do what is right morally and spiritually for our soul's growth. There is an extended message. Right now a call for justice is being brought into your space. Even if this means you will lose out, there really is no loss in the highest state of truth. Act from the heart. See the other person's point of view and surrender your pride so that you are coming from a loving space. If you have made choices that weren't for the highest good, admit it. Through this honesty, you are releasing any karmic bonds or anchors of fear from your energy. Take the time to learn from this situation. And if you are involved in any legal issues, know that Lady Portia and the Divine of Justice are gathering around to honor everyone involved and bring everything out to a good ending. So, that was the reading for Gemini. I thank you very much for listening, Gemini. I wish you a wonderful day today. I wish you a great week ahead. Take care and goodbye.